Hey everybody, this is Mark from Inside the Outdoors. I'm working from home today and it's raining. The kids are cooped up. They're pretty bored. So um, we're going to do an activity. We're going to be a biologist. We're going to go out and collect some samples. And then we have a little activity um, I wanted to show you all. So let me grab the kids and um, we'll get to it. Here are my two little biologists and they're excited to go collect plants and bugs. After collecting your plants and bugs, go ahead and draw your favorite one. Also label it, including where you found it and a description of its habitat. Thanks for um, hanging out with me and my kids as we, we did this activity. Um, my kids are a little young. They're um, both are under preschool age. Roy's about to get into preschool, hopefully um, in the coming year. But this activity can kind of be um, adapted to any grade in elementary school. Even into high school and junior high, um, the words are gonna change. Some um, vocabulary needs to be added. But um, as you're talking to your students that are uh, first, second, third grade. Um, add in words like adaptations while you're hunting for specimens. Ask them, hey, look at these leaves. And uh, what's something you can tell me about these leaves? What do you notice? And for example, they're shiny. Well, shiny leaves, that's an adaptation um, for leaves to hold in moisture when it's hot and sunny outside. So then the plants that have waxy leaves or shiny leaves are going to have that adaptation. Also, we can see the flowers, we can see the life cycle here. We have flowers, we have the bees in here that are pollinating the flowers, and then we have the fruit, right? So these are all things that we can be talking about, life cycles, um, adaptations. Um, and hey, if you don't remember these things from when you were in elementary school, it's okay. Your kids aren't expecting you to know everything. So jump on the computer with them, jump on the iPhone, get on Google, and just kind of try to learn as much as you can together. As long as you're having fun, your kids are gonna learn. And as long as you're having fun, um, it's gonna be a great experience for, for all involved. So hopefully you get out there, have some fun, draw some pictures, and you know, take it up to whatever level you need to. Have your students teach you. Um, and that, what have you been learning this year about living things or about whatever science topic it is. If they have an interest in something, go after that. But this is something my kids like. They like hunting for insects. They like flowers and plants. So. This is just an activity I whipped up real quick um, in a break in the weather.